Hello, how are you doing? How was your weekend? We had a relaxed and quiet weekend, so that was really nice. And now it's hot and it's very windy. And I start with a little excuse because uh, Friday we should have told you that we were uh, we wouldn't post the video in the weekend because it's already quite a lot of work to post a video every uh, or five days in a week. But um, yeah, we were very pleased with all the reactions that came on our question uh, about uh, how you spent your quarantine from all over the world. And I think you have um, my line the reactions there, right? Yeah, we got the response from the Netherlands, of course, Belgium, New Zealand, Australia, Italy, Greece, Canada, California, and, uh, and also one from Israel. And I, it's nice. Um, Nikita says, Israel Haifa here, usually sailing with a friend whose yacht was on the same pier where you were moored a few m months ago. Really wanted to meet you. Now I'm staying at home as much as possible, spending time with the family, doing home education for my sons as much as I can, watching YouTube and really missing the sea. So um, That's nice. it's nice to hear how everybody is doing. Yes, it was really nice to see all your reactions from all over the world. It's uh, appreciated. Um, and today we think about the future. We have uh, we, we slightly start to think about leaving the marina. So uh, that's exciting, isn't it? Yeah, it really looks like we are going to leave this marina in like about a week or something. And I know that many, many people responded that we shouldn't leave and we should stay. Um, but we got information in the in the last week like that Sudan is stable accepting boats for uh, provisioning and we also got a message from someone in Djibouti who knows the harbour master and he confirmed that we are welcome to come there as well. Yeah, so I think that's enough security to uh, to leave. And first we were looking for flights back to the Netherlands as well but that really doesn't look like a realistic option anymore. So um, yeah, what we have in mind now is to leave this port um, in about a week and then sail slowly uh, along the coast south towards Sudan and then Djibouti and um, and then visit the port when we need some more supplies and then and then my dream comes because I really like to go to the Maldives I would love it to go there like there's nice surfing it's uh, it's an Islamic country as well so um, and it is you know if you look on Google Maps it's all atolls and everything man that would be a very nice place to go it's uh, going to be a sail from like two weeks non-stop because you have to go from the end of the Red Sea almost to India. That's where the Maldives are. So Don't it, make them too afraid. It's quite a thing. <laughs> but um, yeah, we are starting to think about it. Herman dreams about it every night, so <laughs> I think I have no choice. And the other thing is we got uh, a lot of information from our uh, befriended sailors, our neighbors and Steve and there's another Katamar on uh, Robert and they have many pilot books and charts and ideas and everything so here, look at the laptop I'll show you. And now I start to work with OpenCPN as well, that's a navigation pro program. It's uh, this, these are the Maladies. It looks brilliant isn't it? Oh. It's still a little bit difficult to work with this program. So if I push this button here, then we are where we are. In Port Galip. It's really good, huh? GPS everything. And what do you have here? Yeah, this is what we got from Robert. It's like um, from every month. This is the one from April. It gives information about where where is the ideal cruising um, circumstances where shouldn't you go because there are typhoons and all those kind of things so it's very easy to plan which month you should be where that's nice yeah it was a little bit unplanned but maybe we can call this video uh, a transition from beginner sailors to advanced world sailors do you feel like you are transitioning to a real sailor now <laughs> Yeah, or maybe a beginner's guide for rookies. Or? Mm -mm. Okay. Anyway, it was nice to have you here. And um, I have another question. Um, because I shaved my beard. And I also need a haircut, as you can see. So, 
Would you think it's a good idea that Myeline gives me a haircut? And you have to know that she's not skilled at all. So um, I thought about it. Um, I will do it and we will make a video about it. If 25 people react under this video in the comment section that they think it is a good idea that Myeline does this. So this is the challenge for you. And for now that's it. Uh, thank you very much for watching and see you tomorrow. Peace out.